America's birthday is full of food and fireworks, but those celebrations are not always fun for our furry friends. Loud noises can cause stress responses and also leave pet shelters full of animals who fled home in a panic. Our guest today has tips for keeping pets safe and calm on the 4th of July. Joining us is certified dog behavior counselor and lead animal trainer with Fear Free, uh, Mikkel Becker. Good morning to you. Good morning. So let's talk about um, how common this is. We hear it all the time with fireworks. Um, can you talk about whether or not your dog maybe has shown signs of stress before? Is that a sign that it's going to be a problem or can any dog have a problem with it? Really any dog can have a problem with it. And sometimes it can be really subtle. So it may start off with just a little bit of pacing or perhaps the ears going back. And any time that our dog has a scary experience, it increases the likelihood that they will display fear in that situation again. So even if your dog has done well in the past, it doesn't mean that they will do well this 4th of July. So what should we look out for with their body language? And is there anything that we could look for with them in terms of their anxiety and how they're uncomfortable? Absolutely. So looking at their tail, looking at their tail starts to tuck, if they start to cower, if their ears start to go back, trembling and pacing. So those are definitely some signs. Irritability, cutie pie right here on my lap is my parent's dog I'm sitting, and he definitely is more irritable around the 4th of July because he's more on edge with those sounds. A lot of times, you know, there's the pre-fireworks that you hear and firecrackers going off in the days and nights before. And so by the time 4th of July comes, they're already kind of bracing for the worst. So they don't even know what's going on. So you have something, a, a calming technique called uh, the Fear Free Fortress. What's that? So what this is, is your pet's safe place. So you want to have all their creature comforts in there, their, calm, their comfortable bedding, some calming white noise, some also calming music. So something like reggae, soft rock, that can be really helpful for pets. And then having all of their toys and just an area where they can bunker down. So not forcing the pet to be in this area, but making it fun and having some other puppy pacifiers or just kitty activities in that area to keep them busy and happy. So the, are those the things you'd put in those fear-free fortresses or, or are there more things we could put in there? Absolutely. So one of my favorites, the all-time staple is a stuffed Kong. Uh, they have those for both dogs and cats. So filling it with their canned dog food, canned cat food, and then you can even freeze it to make it last longer. Any of their favorite chews, toys. Don't you stuff and peanut butter in those things? Absolutely. So stuffing peanut butter in there, you can do some some plain non-fat yogurt and mixing it in with the kibble and then also having some calming scents uh, in there as well. So lavender, chamomile, ginger, valerian, coconut, those have all been shown to be calming for dogs. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I just have to ask you, look over your right shoulder and tell me who's behind you. Oh, who's so that pup? This, this one right here? Yeah. This I is think that they're both Otis. jealous of the dog in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> that's Otis? Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. Yep, we have Otis, Indiana Bones, and Cutie Pie. Oh my gosh, Otis Indiana is adorable. Bones. Okay, so let's talk about safe alternative therapies for loud events. So if we're talking about fireworks now, but it could be a, th a thunderstorm. It could be a loud car outside, like our dogs start barking at the, at the cars. Exactly. So what we want to do is we want to turn that into almost like an invitation for fun. So whenever there is a sound, whether it's on TV, you hear it outside the car backfiring, it's like, oh my goodness. So as soon as that happens, that's when we, we give them the treats. We pull out their favorite toy. For one of our dogs, we actually would start doing a group howl as a family, which sounds super silly, but it really helped him to get out of that fear mode and to get back into more of that play and fun mode. So doing whatever is fun for your pet. So we actually help to change that association from scary to something really fun. I just, I just wonder curiously, is this a good thing or a bad thing? But if, if you have the time, say you're sitting in your home, you're with your pet, the fireworks start going off. Every time a fireworks goes off, is it okay to give the dog a treat? To say like, it's Absolutely. gonna be okay, is that, is that all right? Exactly, and and there is that misconception that you shouldn't comfort your dog that has gone on in the dog training world for a long time, and that's definitely a myth. Like there is no harm done by comforting our dog, and the more that we just act like nonchalant about it, like oh no big deal, and hey we get to do something fun, like oh here's a treat, that's even better. And having up that loud music too to help buffer some of that sound. All right, is there any tips that we didn't get to? 
So other things you can think about, compression garments, like a thunder shirt can be really helpful. And even just temporarily putting cotton balls in the dog's ears or having some sound reduction devices, that can be extremely helpful as well for helping to calm your pet and reducing their exposure to that sound. Mm. All right, so can you give, can you put Otis on your lap too? Because he's yes. so cute, Otis. Don't yes, forget absolutely. Indiana Bones. And Indiana Bones is over there too. Yes. Indiana Bones, yes. Oh, there you go, Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. oh, oh that's oh, all I wanted. There he is. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. oh, Indiana Indiana, Bones. Okay, there Indiana we go. Bones. There we go. Okay, thank you so much. For thank more information you. on Fear Free Pet Training, visit fearfreehappyhomes.com. Indiana Bones was not happy about that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We're going to be a Lost Crusader soon. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll be right back, guys.